Hey guys, it's Chad from CJ's Final, and it is the month of October. And around here, we love Halloween. Claire and I celebrate it pretty heavily every year. It's our favorite time of the year, and that means we're going to be pulling out some of our records that are appropriate for this time. Now, within the month of October, we only have so much time, and we have a ton of like horror, spooky kind of vinyl in our collection that we can spin, but we only... Like I said, only have so much time and we're not going to be uploading stuff every day, so we're trying to pace ourselves, so we have to kind of pick and choose whenever we do that. And so I'm going to just show you a few that we're going to be spinning for this year, and then anything that we can't get in, we're just going to spin it next year for Halloween because we're just geeks like that around here. First one is actually probably from my favorite horror film of all time. It's Suspiria, directed by uh, Dario Argento, made in 1977. This is a really great album. It's made by Goblin. They're primarily the ones that focus on it, and it's, it's such a unique uh, album, I think, pretty much because it's not just the fact that it's like an Italian horror film, but I think just the way that they execute everything, it's just so completely creepy and well done for its time especially. So um, really looking forward to getting some of our favorites from this one out on the channel that is Suspiria. Next one is one that a lot of people probably know from late 80s, The Lost Boys. That's a uh, vampire film. And it was really unique because it was designed to be, it is a horror film, but it's also designed to be kind of like a comedy, a comedy film, a lot of that mixed into it. It's got a ton of comedy, but it's also very much a horror film. Um, so, yeah, it's this is excellent. There's only a few uh, tracks from this one that we're going to be spinning, uh, probably, probably only like two or three maybe, but... Uh, yeah, this one is pretty much essential for us for this year. And another one, Prince of Darkness, 1987. Now this is the uh, limited edition uh, Death Waltz Records uh, print. And uh, this one is actually Pretty difficult to find, I think, these days, but I'll show you here. Look at that. We call that the red and blue splatter. It's pretty sweet. I love the texture on that thing. But this is a great album, too. I mean, it's so completely just dark with like this real creepy ambiance that they create um like ambient horror music it's really good so prince of darkness and then finally one that more people are probably familiar with trick or treat this was uh made in this film was made in 2007. it's not really a film that i'm particularly excited about. I mean, it's, it's kind of strange, and strange not really in a good way. It was just, the, the movie was okay to me, but the soundtrack is amazing, and that's exactly why we got this album. This is a great soundtrack for you to own, <clears throat> and this one's actually pretty difficult to come by. There's a number of different releases that Waxwork did for this album, and we have the I'm very pleased with this release. This is called the Orange and Black Swirl. Let's get this out here. Let's see that. Initially, there was one that we were going to get. <clears throat> you can kind of see that. It's the other one. <clears throat> it's a two LP set. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Initially, we were going to get and they the real popular one is called like the candy corn splatter uh, vinyl. It's um, 
it looks pretty cool, but after doing some further research and seeing all of the uh, flawed pressings that they did of that, it created a whole bunch of pops and static in different areas, and Waxwork had to reissue and send out a lot of others to people again because there were a lot of complaints about that particular album. So I wanted to get the orange and black swirl because I thought it still looked really cool and it sounds amazing. It's it's perfect. So I'm glad I didn't get that, that other one, the candy corn splatter uh, vinyl because even though that one's pretty popular and also difficult to come by, uh, that one's got a lot of flaws. So in my opinion, this is uh, the best one that we possibly could have gotten out of all of the options that people have for that album. But yeah, Trick or Treat. It's got some really good music in it too. It's really good. So that's going to be it for this October. You know, whenever you know next October rolls around, we'll have to put out some more of our other stuff that we have. We've got a bunch more soundtracks. We've got some other really creepy music that we would really like to play. We just can't squeeze it all into one one month because uh, that's just going to take too much time to make all the videos. But um, I hope you guys like it. And um, yeah, if you have any other questions or anything, uh, please don't hesitate to comment below. And um, I hope you guys like it. Let's get to it.